With our class, normally by Wednesday, half the people think they're way in over their head. Really? Oh, yeah. Because the first two days um, are rough, especially if you don't have an electrical background. That's a lot of information to process. <laughs> it is a lot of information in 40 hours. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> we usually have people's um, brains sweating on Friday. <laughs> they're just worn out. Do you think they're going to change the qualifications or the... Um, the requirements to be an installer, or are there any right now? Uh, yeah, all four. You have to be PV certified to get the results. But once you take your 40 hour class and can sit the test, they give you a certain amount of time to get that. Because the certification test is not set for the audit twice a year. So depending on when you get in, you know, it's when you can actually take your test. Well, I had a guy in, call me the other day. In Louisiana, day. you have to pass the. Um, Entry level um, exam that we give on Fridays before you can get rebates now. So before long, it's all going to be you have to be NAPSA certified. What do you have to have a certification to do um, thermal? Yes. Well, with thermal, I mean sometimes you have to pull three permits: a building permit for the weight of the tank and attic, electrical permits someone put the pigtail on the unit if it's new and the plumbing permit because they have to have a plumber to tie into the pot of the water. Does that have to be a master plumber or does it matter? Master I know it's plumber a master in Louisiana, plumber. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know it's a master electrician to connect to the grid, but yeah. I didn't know about the plumber. Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, because those are the questions I'm getting asked. Oh, you yeah. Think, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. What, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and it's getting tougher and tougher, which um, it should. We don't want to happen to what did in the 70s with solar thermal. Everyone start putting in terrible systems and so that everyone quit wanting them. Exactly. A friend of mine's making a killing fixing all those right now. <laughs> 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 I can imagine that. He's making a living at it. Uh -huh. You know, just going and repairing all the systems put in in the 70s and 80s. That's what we don't want to happen with the TV industry. It only take a few house fires. Oh, yeah. Put us down. Quickly. Yeah. So how was the auction show for y'all? Uh, the what? This How show? was this show here for oh, you? Oh, it was great. We've been, um, I was actually just coming to play. I wasn't going to be working here. Really. Um, but it's been good. We've had a steady flow of people, uh, a lot of interest, and maybe even get a new product for us to distribute for some of the other people. So it's nice. Good. good deal. So I know the show's winding down. Has, it been, has there been a lot of traffic over these few days? Oh, yeah. Yesterday was a lot. Today was pretty slow, as you can see now. Yeah. Um, but we've almost handed everything out we brought, so I guess it's been pretty good. Well, I need to figure out how to bring you more people, which I've been doing, I think. <laughs>